Yes, the Biden administration is using federal lunch money as the club with which to beat all K-12 through public schools. So, now the vast majority of schools in the country are required to bend the knee and allow boys into girls' private areas in order to obtain federal funds for lunches, breakfasts, and snacks. Otherwise, the poor kids go hungry. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine using the food of the poorer kids as the weapon with which to beat people into accepting your degeneracy, which is what's going on here. I mean, quite literally, that is what's going on. And this applies to any establishment, or well, uh, any educational establishments that accept federal food funding, including food stamps. And it would the edict regarding the female spaces would affect all female spaces. They have to act like a guy who says that he's a girl is actually a girl. So they have to allow it for showers, for bathrooms, for locker rooms, uh, when applicable for sleeping areas, all of it. A man is a woman if he says that he is, according to the Biden regime, and any school that opposes that and wants to actually take, you know, protect their, their kids, um, can't if they want the money for these lunches. Religious institutions do qualify for a waiver for now. I don't expect that to last because they'll just eventually come away and say, well, those religious institutions, they're just kind of bigoted and so we're going to fix it because already they're talking in terms of fighting the intolerance and so on. So you can already see the sort of framework with which they're going to try and work this in the future. But there's just something so egregious about the fact that they're, they're going to try and starve the poor kids in order to promote this. And I want you to take a quick look at this, um, the title of the announcement over the USDA's website. It says, USDA promotes program access, combats discrimination against LGBTQI plus community. Um, that's a lot of letters there. Um, but anyway, are they combating discrimination? Really? Let's slow down a second. Because I don't think it's discrimination to treat everyone the same. And that's what we're doing is we're treating trans people as if they are what they are. Right? So a person who has gender dysphoria is a person with gender dysphoria and is not the opposite sex. And so as it was, they were being treated like we recognize their inherent dignity and humanity and who they really are and what their actual sex is. What the Biden administration is requesting is a type of discrimination in which we say, actually, you're, you're special, so we're going to let you violate the rules that apply to everyone else and enter the girls' bathrooms if you're a guy. You, you see what I'm saying? That the, the entire language that's being used here is backwards. And if you look at a, one of these statements within this article, it says, this action is also in line with the USDA's efforts to promote nutrition security, which is the consistent access to safe, healthy, affordable food essential to optimal health and well-being, unquote. Yeah, you see, they're just cutting off the food to the poor kids in order to help with nutrition security. Uh, this is just so Orwellian, I can't stand it. I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you want people to eat healthier meals, let's just pretend like the USDA is good at that for a minute just for the sake of the argument. If you wanted that to happen, maybe don't stop them. Maybe don't say you can't actually have the, the funding unless the school complies with to random edicts that we have that kind of align with our ideological standpoint of today, which may change next week. But, you know, as long as the school complies, you get to eat. If not, to hell with that nutrition security and to hell with that affordable food, because you don't actually get any of it. And this is how the Biden administration seems to operate, by issuing statements that mean the very opposite of what they say. And we'll continue, there's another quote in here, it says, and I quote, USDA is committed to administering all of its programs with equity and fairness, and serving those in need with the highest dignity, unquote. Dignity. That's an interesting word to use here. What's the opposite of dignity, you think? I would go with probably dehumanization. Because the opposite of dignity, to recognize the dignity of the human person, is to deny the human person. To deny his humanity. And there is no 
I don't think, dehumanization that comes quite like when a person doesn't have food and that becomes his sole ob obsession is how do I get food? Because the kid stops worrying about whether or not he's gonna have a great education. This was the central argument of why we should give kids, you know, federally provided for food lunch, you know, lunches and so on. Because they're not gonna care about education. Nobody cares about education at all if they're not even fed. You have to take care of the basic instincts first. There is dignity that you can be acquired from that, but not from denying them food and just letting them go hungry because they're pawns in the game of the Biden administration, which is what the poor kids here are being reduced to. as bargaining chips. There's no dignity in that. They're being denied their humanity and exploited by this administration that doesn't see them as human beings who are worthy of, well, food. You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are a lots more that you can choose from, and also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.